One of the best ways to make money online is by running a blog. I mean, we see many companies running a blog. In fact, if you take a look at Google, if you search for something and the results come out, chances are you're going to land on a blog post. But let's be honest, writing these blog posts are very, very difficult. In fact, it's so time consuming. And nowadays, Google requires very, very long blog posts. And creating these from scratch can take a bit of time. In fact, for me, as for me, I don't actually do these articles because they take way too long. So I just stick to video. But I know I'm missing a massive opportunity out there. Today, I'll be taking a look at a solution to this particular problem. The tool we're looking at today is called SEO Writing. Now, it is fantastic. Now, let me show you how it works. So over here, I've already gone in and created an account and I'm already logged in. So what you want to do here is to, first of all, enter your keyword. But before we do that, ideally, we want that SEO writing gets connected to our website because it doesn't really make sense to copy information from the dashboard here and then you go and paste it onto your website. It's just a long process. So thankfully, there is a plugin for that. And this plugin is free. So you want, what you want to do is to head over to your website. You come over here to plugins and then click on add new. So I'm going to click here and we need to search for the plugin and it's called SEO writing. So I'm just going to search for that. And here it is. You can see here it's been installed on 30,000 active installs. And this is quite good. And so in this case, I've already gone ahead and activated it, as you can see here. So once activated it, once activated, you want to now make sure you connect it to SEO writing AI. So what you want to do is to head over here to settings and then you want to come all the way down to SEO writing. And once you uh, select that here on the structured data, just make sure you choose JSON LD. Okay, that's what I'm using. And then you click on save changes. Next, you want to come over here to this tab and make sure you connect. So in my case here, I've uh, already connected it. So let's say I want to create a blog post about show members. So I can come over here and add show members. And my blog title here could be, okay. So now that I have this, set there's a few things here that we need to go in and customize so for example here the english it's fine on english us article size it says medium but the cool thing here is i can go in and set my size so at the moment it's medium and this is what's recommended now here the, for the tone of voice there's quite a few there's non-friendly professional informational and so on but i'm just going to leave this as friendly now for the ai model here there is Claude 3 Haiku. Now, these are all AI models, by the way, because these articles are going to be created using AI. So if I click on this drop down here, you can see we have quite a few more. There's uh, GPT 40 mini. Now, I'm not sure about this one. I've never heard of it. But for now, I'm just going to leave everything as it is. So I'm going to leave it like that. Over here on the point of view, uh, you can also set it to uh, first person or first person plural. Now, this is really cool because it depends what sort of point of view you want to put across. So in this case, I want to do it as the first person singular. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. Now over here, if you have any API keys, this is where you can come in and enable API keys and connect to, in this case, OpenAI and API key. Now, if you already have a ChatGPT4 account, this is where you just connect them and whatever data is going to be compiled here will be based on that AI model. Next, we also have a country here so we can target countries. So I'm just going to go for United States. And then here you can also choose humanized text, fifth grade, sixth grade, and so on. I'm just going to leave it here as default brand voice. Okay, so over here, we can choose to create a brand voice, but in this case, I'm going to leave it as it is. But at this point, I'm super excited to see what sort of results we're going to get with this tool. All right, so I'm going to scroll all the way down here. I'm not going to add anything else here. I'm just going to leave it as it is. Number of images, we have three here, but you can also add, you know, whatever number of images you need. Image style, you can also choose your style here. I'm going to go with photo and then image size. Now, this is a bit too big. So let's go with something like this, okay? And then you can also add in additional instructions here. I'm gonna leave that as it is. And then over here, YouTube videos. If I need to add a YouTube video in my article, this is where I can go in and add that. But in this case, I wanna say no, because of course you're going to be giving a lot of traffic to the person that has created the video, unless it is your own video. All right, so now I'm gonna continue on here and there's quite a lot to uh, go in and uh, choose here. 
So NLP keyword generation. Okay, so if you click on that, this will generate some keywords for you. You can see here, show members, membership management, association software, and so on. So it is quite good. Now, over down here on the bottom, we also have the structure. Okay, so you can start with a question. So this is about the hooks. And these are the sort of uh, things that you can add to make sure that the person that's reading your article really gets engaged or want to read based on what we're adding here. In this case, this is the hook. So let's start off with a question or we can start off with a statistical, okay? Pretty cool. All right, so it also has conclusions here, tables. Do we need any tables? I don't know, you can just choose here if you need to, but I think we've uh, set up quite a lot of things here. Select a WordPress website. Now remember, I linked my website earlier on. This is when things get exciting now. So I'm gonna go ahead now and select my website, Site Crafter. Now remember, it is connected from here and that is why uh, it's showing up on the bottom here. All right, so let's continue on. It's asking me about external linking and so on and all and also the uh, the syndication here. So I'm gonna mess around with the syndication here. Let's go ahead and finally publish this. So here it's saying publishing to website. I can publish this to uh, my website straight away. And here you can see it's saying post status publish. Ideally, I want everything that's going to be compiled here on SEO, SEO writing to be then sent to my website. However, if you don't want to do that, you can also get a an article here in this dashboard. All right, so I think I have everything that I need here. Now let's click on run, okay? So you can see here on the status, it's on 3%. So as I was mentioning earlier on, when it comes to creating blog articles, it seems like Google seems to favor long in-depth articles which are well researched and so on this is why i didn't really bother trying to create these articles from scratch by myself it's just overwhelming and way too much so hopefully this tool here is going to give us an idea of what this is going to look like and as you can see here this is already on 28 percent okay so it looks like this is now complete so let's go ahead and click on it and take a look at the article. So you can see I'm smiling because already this looks really good. Wow, look at that. Key takeaways. So what I would need to do now, since I know that Show Members is a membership plugin and I've used it, is just to make sure that over here, what this AI has given me is definitely, I know, accurate. But look at this. I mean, we have so much content here that was created for us, including all the images. Okay, so what else can we do with seowriting.ai? So over here, we also have this feature called bulk article generation. This is also pretty cool because you can go in there and do quite a lot of articles. Now you can do up to a hundred articles in a batch. I mean, this is huge. So this is something that you may want to, you know, give a try and see how it uh, works. So seowriting.ai doesn't only do blog posts. So over here, you can see we have product roundups, we have product reviews, we have product list uh, workflow, how to guides, simple editor, and so on. So this is really, really exciting. So now let's take a look at the features. And this feature here is the one that I was really worried about because as you can imagine, AI is producing so much content. So what's the quality of our articles here? And that question is answered because you can see here, it says generate original high quality long form content. I mean, this is very, very exciting. Over here, we can uh, we can create detailed product listings 10 times faster. I mean, of course, that is true. We've, not, we've realized that during our main demo. Now, you can start. It's absolutely free by coming over here. But let's take a look at the pricing because, of course, I know you're going to be excited by this and you would like to upgrade to a paid version. So over here, there is a starter, which is $14 per month, or you can go to the build monthly, which is 19 a month. So on the outset, it may look like it's a lot of money, $19 per month, but think about it. You would need to hire someone who does copywriting to do this for you, and they will cost way more than $19 per month, definitely. So this is pretty much a steal, to be honest. I mean, the pricing is very, very good. Now over here, you can see, you can do up to 50 articles per month, which I think is cool. I mean, 50 is a lot. I mean, if I were to start a blog, I'll do probably an article a day, but 50, I mean, that's awesome. Now, if you wanna go professional, this is where you'd go, you'd go up to 250, which is more 
tailored towards a design agency and so on. But that's pretty cool. Now over here on the free one, you can do up to five articles. So you can go ahead and get started right now. So go ahead and check out seowriting.ai. This tool definitely is a game changer. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comments box below. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.